Help us out. Oh, Good morning again, my friend. With us. Oh, hey, good morning, guys. Sorry, uh, we're out here at Minute Maid Park. There is a lot going on here, a lot of confusing things. But we're going to talk about parking, and it's always a burden. We were, uh, I was at game one uh, in Los Angeles, and when you go to Dodger Stadium, it's essentially located on an island, and you need to buy an expensive parking pass just to park near the park. However, here at Minute Maid Park, there are a ton of options. Take a look. We've had season tickets, and so this is an awesome experience. An awesome experience once you get here. So let's talk about how to get here and where to park. First up, private parking lots. You'll find them near and around Minute Maid Park, and likely the closer you are, the more you'll pay. Be mindful, they can fill up fast. Second on the list, ride-sharing programs like Uber and Lyft. There's actually a special drop-off spot near center field. The price here, depending on where you're coming from, but you don't have to fight traffic to find a spot. Third up, Parking Panda and other similar apps. After downloading, you can view maps of available lots and pay and reserve your guaranteed spot before ever heading out. Last on the list is Metro Rail. You can park in a designated spot along the Metro Rail's purple or green lines. Your ride is free with a valid game ticket. Otherwise, it'll only cost you a couple of bucks. Or you could park off site and then just take the light rail into town and you know, when you leave, just take the light rail back to your car and then you don't have to deal with all this. Wherever you plan to park, get here with time to spare. Time to spare is definitely a good tip. Also, be mindful of those parking lots because some of those that are closer to the stadium can go as high as 100 bucks. So it really would, would uh, encourage you to take Uber or Lyft or, or a taxi cab or, or something else like that because you don't want to park near here during game time. It, it can get pretty hectic. Coming up at 6.30, we're going to talk about security and what Houston police and other law enforcement have learned since the Super Bowl and the Final Four sort of as a dry run here to the World Series. Reporting live at Minute Maid Park, I'm Jake Reiner, KPRC, Channel 2 News.